In this video, we're gonna be talking about the fundamentals of sport and why in today's day and age, it's a requirement to have a solid understanding of these core concepts. Let's get it. A very famous quote from the GOAT, Michael Jordan, get the fundamentals down and the level of everything will rise. In his book, Atomic Habits, James Clear talks about Twyla Tharp, who's this legendary iconic dancer. And when she talks through her, her routines and her foundations, she actually says that the most important piece to her entire career was this routine that she set up where she woke up at 5.30 a.m. and put on her dancing clothes and hailed a cab and told the cab to take her to Pumping Iron Gym on 91st Avenue. And then from there, she did her two hour routine and everything else took care of itself. She credits the skill of just being able to get up and as soon as she hailed that cab, she knew that everything was gonna happen as it needed to. So that was a fundamental step. So there are athletes and there are coaches that the first step, the foundation goes all the way down to, can you even show up to practice? Can you even show up to your craft, period? But when we talk about sports as a whole, we're gonna just be talking about how we see it right now. Here are the three foundational things, the three fundamental things that you need to be aware of and that you need to have control of. The first one is athleticism. Athleticism is a key component in sports. Being able to run, jump, move, and react. And if you didn't see our last video where we went over the skill of athleticism, that will give you a very clear understanding of why at the skill of athleticism is extremely important in sports today. Skill, and in this case, we're talking about sports specific skills. For basketball, being able to shoot and dribble. For volleyball, being able to pass, spike, serve, set. These sports specific skills, the bar is raising and raising and raising on skills. We've learned that skills, sports specific skills, can be trained and can be elevated. When I was growing up as a basketball player, no one ever told me to just go work on my shot. I worked on my shot when we played 21. Nowadays, players understand if I just go work on my shot, if I just go get shots up, my shot will get better. So I can work on that sports specific skill. So depending on what your sport is, there's a set of sports specific skills and you should be very good at all of them because that's the level that we're at today. So you have to have athleticism. You have to have a solid understanding of growing your sport specific skills. And then our last component is performance. You have to know how to carry yourself on the field. You have to know how to set up routines for the day of the game. You have to understand how to keep your composure and breathe through things and not let your emotions take over in the, mid in the middle of the game or use your emotions to actually help you perform better. I realized this when I was watching the London Olympics, so a couple Olympics ago, and I was annoyed by how all the journalists asked all the athletes the same stupid question, literally everyone. Were you nervous? Or are you nervous? Whether it was before or after the event. Every single time. And every single time, all the athletes gave the exact same answer. No, I was excited. No, I'm excited. Every single time. These elite athletes had learned to interpret body stimulus. What, is, what are the signs of nervousness? Your heart races, you visualize the future, your, clam, your hands get clammy. What, the, what are the stimulus for excitement? Your heart races, you visualize the future, your hands get clammy. They had learned to interpret what their body was telling them, not as nerves, but as excitement. And the reason the journalists said, were you nervous, is because they would be nervous. Athletes would never say that to each other. They say, that was exciting. The ability to want to and be able to compete, whether someone's talking to you or not talking to you, all sorts of games can be played. So performance and being able to be a performer and a competitor, we don't really think about it as a skill, but that's a skill. That's something that you have to have in your bag. You have to be able to perform when, when the lights are on. We know who these key performers are, and we've watched certain individuals get better at performance, get more competitive, and train themselves in that. 
any anytime you hear someone say that's just a natural thing okay understand if it's a natural to somebody that means if you're somebody else you can train that so performance to me is a very underrated skill that we're not practicing enough and we're not getting good at. We're just letting players go to the game, go in the game and then get mad at them if they choke or whatever else because we haven't trained it and they don't just naturally have it. So performance is our last foundational skill. There's under each one of these sets, there's all sorts of different skills and factors. As sports on a whole, we're just saying, these are the three foundational things that if you can if you can master each one of these things your game is going to go to a whole new level so just think about these as the foundations i would love to hear your comments or questions so hit us up in the comments below if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel because we're going to be dropping videos just like this going over athleticism and how to improve yourself so we'll catch you on the next video